Okay, welcome to Tasker 101 Tutorials Lesson 3B. We're going to talk about scene gestures, and this is building on the scene that we created in the last lesson. So, uh, we have the day and night scene that we created. Let's open that up. And we created it so that if you tapped night, it would trigger the night settings. If you tapped day, it would trigger the day settings. We're going to get rid of those. So, it's so long press and delete. And long press and delete. All right, now we're going to add some things to our scene. First, let's add uh, just a basic text. And this is going to be night. And we can select the size again. This time we're going to have it be much, much smaller. Say 20. 20 should be good. And color. We'll choose another sort of bright blue color. And we can leave the rest the same. You could select a uh, background color. And this is, if you select a background color and a border, it'd be similar to creating a button with text on it. So it is sort of another option. Um, but we are just going to create the text for now. And we're going to go back. And let's see. Let's put this. We're going to move it here. And then we're going to create another one and do text and we're going to do day and we'll make this 20 actually let's make this 25 and we'll make this bright red again And we're going to go over here. As you can see, sometimes it's hard to move these, and that's when you could use this and just hit move, and then just use the arrows to move it. And let's see. Going to go into night. I'm not sure how the background color in night got to be that way, but it's easy enough to take out. And let's make the text a little bit bigger. Let's take that up to 25. And we're going to click OK. And that should do it. Now we're going to add two more things. We're going to add a rectangle. And the color of our rectangle, let's make it a blue. Sort of like the blue we have going on in night and we'll click OK and then we're going to go over to stroke stroke could also be called gesture and we're going to make it up a gesture up because night is at the top um, we're going to I'm going to reduce the length a little bit and make it seven let's make it 70 so that moderate gesture link will do and then you add the task you want when that gesture is performed so this task perform task and then we're going to choose our uh, volume night and then we're going to click done and done and now our element is there now we're going to change this rectangle It, there we go so that it kind of points or is under night now we're going to add another element this is going to be another rectangle and this rectangle is going to be red I'm going to click OK and then we're going to go to stroke and we're going to change it again to 70 and we're going to make the direction down 
And then we're going to click the plus button to add our task. And we're going to choose task and then perform task. And then hit the magnifying glass to look for it and choose day volume. And then we're going to go back. And we're going to go back. And we're going to put this one above day. As you can see, sometimes getting the right size can be tricky that way. Again, not to you would press this button and use resize, and then you could size it. Now, you probably noticed these aren't exactly the same size. I'm not really worried about that right now. This is just a sample, so I'm not being too particular with that. You could make them perfect and pretty and exact, but I just want to show you how it works. So, going back. And now we've edited that scene and we added the strokes or gestures that will trigger our task. So now we can go back to my home screen. And if we press the star, the same thing happens. Shows our scene. Hello, please select the volume and display settings you would like me to activate. Now we have it set so that if we gesture up inside of the night box towards night, it triggers our night settings. If we gesture down, Towards day, it triggers our day settings. First thing we need to do is just make sure what our volume levels are at. Our volume levels are at full, so they're at our day settings. So, hello, please select the volume and display settings you would like me to activate. So, let me first gesture down in this box. Nothing happens because we selected one gesture and that's gesture up. But if I gesture up in this box, and what's going to happen, you see it turned auto display off and it lowered our volume settings. And she's speaking but you can't hear her because the medium volume is turned down low. Um, again, if I gesture up and day, it's not going to do anything. As you can see, volumes are still nighttime. And that's because we only ha created one gesture stroke for down and day. So if we now gesture down towards day, you're going to see auto brightness was turned back on and our volume levels are all turned back up. So we've created a gesture to do that. Now I do want to show you how to get a little bit more advanced with this. So we're going to take a, a quick step over to advanced and I'm going to delete this box and delete this box. I'm going to uh, resize this box just a little bit and I'm going to move day, day here in the center. I'm going to move night here in the center. And now I'm going to add an element. And this element is going to be a rectangle. And the color, this uh, little sliding bar, you might have seen me use it and not realize what it is. It, it's the uh, transparency. So completely to the right is completely non-transparent. Completely to the left means completely transparent. So there's no color. It's completely invisible. And that's what we want. So that's what I'm picking. And now I'm going to go over to uh, uh, Stroke. And here, I could probably leave that 100 because I, I lengthened the box. But to be safe, I'm going to make it 70. And Direction Any. So, this means if you do any gesture in this rectangle, in this box, it's going to trigger this task. So, how do we differentiate between the tasks we're going to do? Well, I'll show you. We're going to click the plus button. We're going to add our first task. Perform task. I'm going to choose 
day volume. And then we're going to go down to the if statement. This is the first time I'm using if statements. And if statements are really important in Tasker because they allow you to cause things to happen only if certain things are true. So we're going to click if. And this is also an introduction to variables, which I will talk to you about much more in future lessons. But for now, I'm just going to tell you that there is a variable uh, in Tasker for stroke directions. And it's stroke underscore dir. So that is reading the stroke direction. And then the little squiggly line in uh, Tasker means matches. And if you press this, it, it has the actual word. So you choose matches. And you see the squiggly line there. And then we're going to say, uh, we just did day, right? So day is down. So down is the variable that it should match. So in other words, we want to trigger the task 101 day volume, but only if the stroke direction is down. And then we go back. So we have task number one. And then we're going to add task number two. Task, perform task. Go to the magnifying glass. 101 volume night. And go back to the same thing if. And then once again, stroke underscore dir, which is the variable for a stroke direction. And if that variable equals up. So now we're saying we want to trigger 101 volume night, but only if the stroke direction volume matches up. So basically what we've said is that if there's any gesture inside this rectangle at all, we want it to perform these tasks. So it's going to perform this task, but when it gets to it, it's only going to do it if that direction was down. And then it's going to go to this task, but when it gets to it, it's only going to do it if that direction is up. So let's go... back to the scene and we're going to make the square bigger and again this probably isn't the prettiest scene in the world uh, I'm not going for that right now I just want to show you how this works so now if we gesture up it should trigger night settings if we gesture down it should trigger day settings so we're going to go back here and I want to uh, uh, show you one more uh, quick thing. Actually, I'm not going to show you that right now. I think that's enough probably for this lesson. So let's, let's get out of here and show you that this works. So let's look at what my volume settings are now. You can always tell because auto brightness should be on if it's day settings and off if it's night settings. But uh, you can also see the volumes are all, levels are all up. So we hit this, it's going to show Hello. our scene. Please select the volume and display settings you would like me to activate. Of course, we want to change those instructions for this scene. We'd say swipe up to activate night scene, swipe down to activate, I mean, night settings, swipe down to activate day settings. But uh, so you can go in and play with that, uh, changing what the voice says if you want to. Uh, but we were already in day settings, so let's swipe up. And if we pull down, you see auto brightness has been turned off. And you'll see the volume levels have been lowered. And we'll do it one more time. Open the setting. And again, uh, she is speaking right now. But because we had her speak, uh, we didn't have anything happen before she speaks. You're not going to hear her because the volumes are down. But if we swipe down towards the day, and you'll see auto brightness is back on and our volume levels are back up. So that's how you can, uh, in Tasker, you can create a scene and you can uh, using, use gestures to do different things in that scene. 
Um, so showing you know how to create a button that you tap to do something, or you can also long press, or you create a, a box and you create gestures to do different things. And of course, this is just the beginning. There's a lot more advanced things you can do with that. But I uh, just wanted to show you that you can use gestures inside of scenes to perform tasks. So that's it for Lesson 3B Scene Gestures. And uh, come back next time for Lesson 4. We're going to talk about adding context to a task.